Well, victims of that Richmond Hill explosion are combining forces for their last big court battle, the sentencing of Montserrat Shirley. Now, she admitted to helping plan that blast that blew up her home, killed two neighbors, and destroyed hundreds of homes nearby. Carrie Klein joins us now here in studio with a look at what's expected to happen this morning in day two of this hearing. Hey, Carrie. Yeah, good morning, guys. Montserrat Shirley will ask the judge for leniency in exchange for her testimony that helped convict the two masterminds behind this explosion and the led to light sentences for both. Now, it may have happened four years ago, but the more than 20 victims who testified yesterday say the physical and mental wounds from this horrible event back in November of 2012 are still very fresh. Surely, her boyfriend Mark Leonard and his brother Bob Leonard planned and executed an explosion that nearly wiped out an entire neighborhood. Shirley's next-door neighbors, Dion and Jennifer Longworth, died in that blast. Jennifer's father says he had three children, and now with one gone, their only connection to her is laying wreaths at her grave. He begged the judge to give Shirley the maximum. Actually, I think she's the worst of the bunch because she supplied the house. Uh, and uh, she turned it over to them, and they turned it into a bomb, and she went along with all of it. A Shirley could receive anywhere from 50 years in prison to time served and probation. A pretty big gap there. So Shirley, the judge, is expected to rule later on today. Now in our next hour of Sunrise, we're going to talk with Dion Longworth's father, who shares an incredible message of forgiveness. Ben, Julia, or Anne-Marie.